the health of your baby. You cannot risk you your health. You stop acting so concerned about my baby because you could not care less about me and my baby. Unless, of course, you're shrewd enough to realize that if something does happen to me and my pregnancy, Ethan's going to blame you and you are never going to have a chance with him again. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Just I... deal with it, okay? You are the kind of person you don't care about anyone but yourself. You don't even care about Ethan, Teresa, because if you did, if you did, you would have not come out to L.A. and put me and his child at risk. Look, Gwen, I told you I didn't know that you and Ethan were out here, okay? Uh, I came here to visit Chad and Whitney to give you guys time alone. Oh, to give you some okay, okay. What, so it's all just some big, huge coincidence? Is that it? Like it wasn't when you were stalking Ethan those first few you know, months? You insinuated your way into young. his life? I was immature then, Gwen. Immature what? And like you're all grown up now? Because God help us if that's what you think. I can just imagine the lengths that you went to to follow us out here. What did you spy on us in harmony? Did you tap our phones? What? No. What? When? No, that you got it all wrong. No, you are the one who's got it all wrong, sister. When are you going to get it through that thick head of yours that Ethan chose me over you? Ethan loves me, not you. Ow! Oh, shoot. When? When? Oh, when? Don't you touch me!